London Airport was the starting place of the Duke of Edinburgh when he left for Oslo en route for the Olympic Games. The Duke was making a short visit to King Haakon of Norway before flying on to Helsinki. And at Helsinki, the celebrations of the 15th Olympiad bring the time-honored games to Finland for the first time. The Olympic Stadium was built in 1940 for the games that were cancelled through the Russian invasion. Unlike the days of ancient Greece, when wars were suspended to allow each country to send its champion to Olympia. Yet Helsinki marks a new page in Olympic history, for the Germans have marched back into the Olympic fold together with competitors from Japan. The Soviet Union, too, has entered for the first time, though their isolated quarters, nine miles from the Olympic Village, brings the Iron Curtain into the world of sport. But the spirit of the Games triumphs, and in a pre-Olympic roundup of the Finnish capital, we found the Hungarian team we welcomed to Wembley for the 1948 Games. Canadians, some of them hard at training, determined to capture their share of the honours that regularly go to the new world. Hopeful too are members of the Nigerian team. In the Olympic village are the quarters of the British team, who we found ignoring any omens and determined to win our first post-war athletic gold medal. Good luck to them all. We know they'll accept victory or defeat in the true manner of sportsmen. Sportsmen like Arthur Wint of Jamaica. So, the great day dawns with 7,000 athletes ready to compete in the greatest modern Olympiad for the glory of sport. The opening day. And the British team, led by flag bearer Harold Whitlock, 1936 Olympic walker, and watched by Lord Burley, parade into the arena. And marching in this great cavalcade, the nations are united by Olympic ideals. Japan and Germany, past enemies of peace, but both with so much to contribute to international athletics. Now the Russians, their men dressed in white, to convince the world that sporting endeavor, not political prestige, has attracted their entry. A team from Korea, too. And then, an unrehearsed incident, as a young woman tries to make a peace plea. Ladies and gentlemen! Thank you. The girl, dressed in Grecian robes, is a law student from West Germany. After President Pasikivi of Finland has declared open the Games, thousands of doves are released to carry off their message of Olympic peace. And then, the dramatic moment as the Olympic torch, kindled in far-off Greece, arrives in the stadium, carried by 55-year-old Paavo Nurmi, the flying Finn, past winner of nine gold medals. So the Olympic flame is kindled to burn throughout the Games, perhaps symbolic of the fierce competition that will rage in the true fellowship of sport. Mm -hmm.